Hi everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates channel. I'm Vanessa Kelly, and I'm here to take you through a 20 minute all levels reformer based class. I'm working on a balanced body piece of equipment, so I'll make the um, recommendations for springs, but if you know your body well enough to make those adjustments, please go ahead and do so. And we're just gonna have some fun, so if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and be sure to check out some of the other reformer workouts I do have on the channel. All right, let's go ahead and start with two reds, one green, and a yellow spring. So taking it to about three and a half springs on your reformer, and we'll lie down and start with our footwork. Heels are on, parallel hip distance apart. We're gonna begin to press out. Inhale to pull back in. About 10 repetitions here, guys. So relax with those shoulders, lengthen out through those arms. Allow for those ribs to connect as we begin to deepen our core connection. Exhale, push out. Inhale to return. Try to stabilize through those ankles. And then we'll walk you down to your toes. Heels are lifted. Exhale, press. Try to challenge yourself as you keep those heels lifted. And again, going out to full extension really aiming to push the back of the knees down to the floor. Exhale, extend, inhale to pull back in. Keep scooping those abs towards the floor. Relaxing with the jaw. And then hug those heels together, toes apart, your Pilates V. Focus on tweezing those inner thighs as you lengthen out reaching the top of your head to the wall behind you. Beautiful job here, guys. Finding a nice, comfortable pace that works well for you. But really resisting those springs on your return in. Beautiful. Bringing it back in, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the heels up to the foot bar, turn those knees out, turn those toes out, and then again, exhale, stretch. Good, really rooting the tailbone in towards the mat. Maintaining all the natural curves of your spine. So not overly imprinting, not overly arching. Again, just complementing the natural curves of our spine. Beautiful. Bring it in and then adjust down to your toes. Heels are lifted, pressing out to two straight legs. We're gonna add some circles. So you're rotating through the hips here. You're circling those knees outward, pulling those knees together like magnets, massaging through those hip sockets here. Maybe go five one direction, five the other direction. I know these can be a little confusing, but Try to find the rhythm that makes sense to you. It's like you're pivoting from your, your um, ball of the foot here. Back to the center, we're gonna go into calf raises. So let's go hip distance apart with those toes, lower those heels and lift the heels. Finding a nice comfortable pace for yourself. Really pushing those heels out from underneath you as you lengthen through those calves. Challenging those heels to lift up as you work through the ankles. Perfect. We're gonna bring those heels together and continue with our calf raises. So you're in a Pilates V, heels are together, toes are apart, and you're lowering and lifting. Another 10 sets here. Awesome. Lifting from your pelvic floor, abs engaged. Take it into your prances where you're alternating from one leg to the next. Beautiful job here, guys. Pay attention to those hips staying nice and stable. No Elvis in the pelvis. And then bend those knees and return home. Great. So we're gonna transition into single leg work. So I like to work on two reds and a blue spring. Anywhere from two and a half springs to maybe um, you can go down to two and a quarter and then go back to hip distance apart with those heels. Let's place that left leg into tabletop and then we're going to go ahead and push out with that right leg. I'm in an attitude position. So if you're externally rotated in a tabletop, 
with that left leg. And as you push out, reach out long to the side. So the main challenge would be not to lift or create an imbalance in your hips here. Exhale, reach out long. Inhale, resisting those springs to pull back in. Reach and return. Excellent. Good. So now, again, find that attitude so you're turning the knee outward and then lengthen out. The left leg, though, is still in a parallel position. So don't be confused that the left leg is turned out as well. It is still in a hip distance parallel position. Beautiful. Reach on out, nice and long. Belly is pulled in, jaws relaxed, and the shoulders remain soft. Nice. And then coming back in. All right, so it's down to your toes. Let's reach your left leg over the foot bar, lift it up. We're flexing both feet, pointing both feet, and then lower the leg over the foot bar. So a little bit of coordination here. Go at your own pace. If you need to watch this a couple times to get your rhythm going, that works out too. Flex both feet, point both feet, and return home. So you're getting a single leg calf raise here on that, on that foot that is pushing away from the foot bar. Beautiful. Think of lengthening out in opposite directions of the legs, forming that capital L. Press. And press. Great. Go ahead, left foot is on, right leg is elongated, we extend, flex both feet, point, and reach over. So think of using the abdominal muscles to lift the floating leg. The abs are facilitating the movement as the leg lifts on up. You're still anchoring through your, your tailbone here, and it's like you're pushing out through the left heel as you elongate through that leg. Gorgeous here, guys. Again, finding a pace that works well for you. And go ahead, reach, and return all the way back in. Excellent. We're going to come up to a seated position. I'm going to take the headrest down flat, and then I'm going to shift to one red spring, so that's one full spring only and I'm gonna place my feet through the headrest sitting in a nice upright position. Let's grab those ropes in front and choke up above the metal part of the ropes. And we're gonna tuck that tailbone under to do a slight roll back here. So arms are long, shoulders down. Use your abdominal muscles to round over this imaginary beach ball and then re-articulate your spine up to a seated position. Tuck those tail feathers under. Scoop that belly deep on in. Beautiful job. So focus on keeping your legs pressing against the headrest. We don't want to have them float up. It's going to lessen the connection with our abdominal muscles. But this is really nice because we're getting a nice little stretch here through our spine as we articulate. We're gonna add pulses here, so find a point where you can go tiny pulses where you're lifting with your abs, less with your arms. And then return back up to the top. Awesome. Grab those handles. We're gonna bend those knees, keep the feet flat. We're gonna take the arms in more of a bicep position and then follow with me. We're gonna tuck that tailbone under, scooping the belly, lowering those shoulder blades over the mat so they're gonna hang off here. Beautiful. Now press those feet firmly into the headrest. Use your abs to lift you back up into that seated position. Excellent. Tuck that tailbone under, connect the ribs. We round ourselves back. Hold for the inhale. Press with the exhale down into the feet, sitting up nice and tall. Awesome, a couple more here. Scoop with the belly as you lean back, shoulders down. Keep that nice connection with your biceps and triceps here. Exhale, connect through the ribs. Perfect, 
float the legs to tabletop. Let's maintain this and take it right into those bicep curls. Yeah. So chin to chest, guys, looking right down at to your belly button. Shoulders are away from those ears. Stay strong. Stay powerful in your form. Those legs are holding a static position in tabletop. Open wide to a T with the palms looking at your hips. Really pull using the muscles below the armpit. That's it. You're almost there. And then we're going to lift straight up high V position. A V for victory as you lift those arms up. Think of balancing a cup of coffee onto those legs. Excellent work here, guys. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. And then we're gonna go ahead and place those feet down one at a time, and then prepare ourselves to return back to our seated position. Excellent. So elongate those legs, scoot yourself back so that you do feel positioned and in the center of the mat, right into your chest expansion. So think of those arms as long levers as they are pressing behind you, eliminating any shoulder shrug. So if you're feeling a shoulder shrug, you know you've gone way too far back. Again, with this exercise, less is more. Finish it with pulses. Press, exhale, press, exhale, press. Beautiful work here. And then carefully, you're gonna release it forward. Let's go ahead and hang those up here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and take it all the way to our knees. We're gonna go ahead and keep the red spring. Um, you can move down to a blue spring. That would be fine too. And we're gonna do a little jumping here using those glutes and hamstrings. So toes are on the foot bar and once you're ready, just go ahead and give it a nice jump out. 10 here in this variation. Abs are pulled up. Careful not to dump entirely into the low back. Excellent, and it's just a little jump. You don't have to put a lot of effort into it, but this is great exercise for balancing and training that muscle, our muscle memory of balancing here too. Good, a nice little push off the foot bar, just nice enough to isolate through the glutes. Beautiful. And again, 10 on this side, and then rest it for just a moment. Okay. Right foot is on, 10 in a parallel position. I failed to mention that on the first time, but you are in parallel here before we go into an external rotation. And then think of the work coming from the glute, from the back of the hamstring. Try to keep that ankle in line with the knee and knee in line with the hip. Right into your external rotation. Beautiful, and 10 more to finish it off. Shoulders down and away from those ears. And it's just a nice quick variation with the foot bar, and it saves us some time to not add the jump board on top of the reformer. Perfect, so that's stabilizing legs. Should have felt the work here just as much. And we're gonna go ahead and find our handles again. We're gonna balance into our chest expansion. So this is a single leg chest expansion. So I step that left foot forward in between the headrests, grabbing those handles. We're exhaling to press back 10 times here. Shoulders away from those ears. Belly is pulled deep into the spine. And visualize as if you were balancing a book at the top of your head here. Switch sides carefully, nice and tall for me. Perfect. Think of maybe shifting those hips forward as you puff your chest up. Breathe. Looking straight ahead. And then go ahead and set those down. All right, guys. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and turn and face the foot bar. We're coming up into a plank position, shoulders over those wrists. We're gonna pull those knees in for jackrabbit and then push back out to plank. 
So emphasize knees coming in towards the belly here. Scoot the belly. Inhale, lengthen the legs. Work through the hip flexors, work through the core. Yes, you have it. Strong foundation through the core. Beautiful. Pull in and reach out. Pull in and reach out. Going right into long stretch there. Pull yourself forward and then soften your knees down. Let's exit off to the side and then we'll go right into a nice Eve's lunge. So left foot is on the floor. You're going to line it up with that metal bolt outside your machine and then right foot's against the shoulder block. You'll take your lunge and then you'll take a deep hamstring stretch. So I just straightened out my left leg. Hips are still square, so double check. If you have a mirror in front of you, all the better. But you can always glance down at your hips to make sure they are looking straight ahead. And let's take a nice inner thigh stretch. So left foot is on the floor. It's right up against the base of the leg and both the feet are looking parallel. So all of my toes are facing you. Your hands are on the outside of the frame and just be very careful when you're moving the carriage. They don't get caught. Let's return in and we'll take it to the other side. So again, right foot is underneath that metal bolt and then push back with a nice deep lunge. Maybe tuck that tailbone under to send those hips forward, really increasing the stretch in that psoas. And then when you're ready, take it into the hamstring stretch. Hips are squared. I like to keep my foot flat against the floor. You can also lift your toes up and maybe deepen that calf to hamstring stretch a little bit more. Just transitioning right into your inner thigh stretch. So again, my right foot is on the floor up against the leg of the reformer, taking a deep inner thigh stretch. Now you can be static here or you can be moving at very active stretch. So pick and choose what works best for you. And let's bring it back in. Excellent. So we're going to go ahead and change springs here. I have a red and a blue spring on. We're going to focus on arms and back. So place yourself into child's pose. Knees up against the edge of the carriage. You're going to bend and elongate through your arms. Elbows are widening, so they're reaching in opposite directions of the room here. And then really focus on pushing from your triceps and focus on pushing with your lats, so those muscles underneath your armpits. Exhale, push out. Inhale, resisting those springs to pull in. Second variation, elbows are gonna look down at the floor, so it's more of a tricep press. I'm not gonna come in all the way. I'm gonna come in about halfway, because if I do come in all the way, I will tend to lift my shoulders up, so be very mindful what your shoulders are doing here. Really isolate the work into those triceps. Perfect. I'm not gripping the bar. My fingertips are reaching outward. And then sit up when you're ready. Perfect. We're going to change out those handles into the loops. You guys may have already had your loops on, and that's okay. And we're going to go right into feet in the straps. So once you have made that transition, go ahead and lie yourself down onto your back. And then we're gonna place those feet in one at a time. Adjust your headrest to what feels good for you. I like mine about halfway up here. Send those legs up to the sky. Keep them together as a unit. Stay parallel for me. And then let's just begin with our TikTok. So you're going to lower the legs down and then lift the legs up. Now I like to think about my tailbone pushing towards the floor. And then I'm really lengthening out from the back of the legs to feel a full on stretch. I am going a little bit past 90. As long as you can keep your tailbone down, that is totally fine. But if you feel like your tailbone is lifting, then I would say don't go back as far. Let's go right into opening. So at 45 degree angle, keep your heels together, toes apart. It's like you're sliding your heels across the table. So really get a nice wide stretch, but then do the work. Make the effort to pull those heels back together. Yeah. Exhale pulls you in. Inhale opens you back out. 
and then take it into that high V position. So now I'm aiming a little higher, not just at 45. So again, making that high V for victory and pull those heels in. And then let's just go ahead, transition right into frog. So bend those knees in. There is external rotation there at the hip socket. So as the knees bend in, the knees will look to opposite directions. Exhale, press out to two straight legs. Beautiful. And then finally, let's finish it with those circles, really up, open around. If you have your hips creating some instability here, you can always make your, your circles a lot smaller, and that's okay. Perfect. Keep breathing and relaxing with those shoulders. And then once you're ready, go ahead and reverse. Good job, guys. Think of this as your cool down. Well deserved. Keeping those abs again pulled in. Good. Take a final stretch. Find that Buddha position or that butterfly where the soles of your feet are together, knees apart. Just breathe. I like to take my hands on the pegs and get a really nice stretch through the chest. And then carefully, let's go ahead and find the foot bar as you take one foot out at a time. And we'll exit off to the side. Great job here, guys. Let's finish it with some roll downs. So hip distance apart with those feet. Sweep those arms up. Take a dive all the way down, fingertips to toes. And roll yourself back up again. Roll those shoulders all the way back. Beautiful. Thanks for joining me here today, guys. If you did like the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I look forward to seeing you again in another Reformer workout. Take care.